This is probably the most interesting and complicated section of astronomy we're going to tackle. There was a steady state theory of the universe, and that was that the universe would just keep going along the way it is, that the stars and galaxies wouldn't get closer together and they wouldn't spread out, just things would carry on status quo. Hubble, though, with the idea of redshift, let us know that the universe is expanding. Things are moving farther and far, farther apart. And that rate of expansion has been calculated to be 1 trillion cubic light years per minute, an insanely large number. But the real question becomes, what's going to happen to the universe in the future? And there are a number of possibilities. One is, the expansion could get faster and faster. Another is, it could stop expanding and then end up being steady state, or it could suddenly not just stop expanding, but start contracting, and that could lead to the big crunch. So that's what we're looking at in this video. We have the oscillating theory, and you can see it says it's an abandoned theory. And this is the idea that the universe was expanding, but the rate of expansion was going to slow down and potentially even reverse. The problem with this theory was it said that we could not have clusters of galaxies or even superclusters. In other words, it was saying that all the galaxies should be evenly spread out, and they're not. So that toasted that theory. The question is, what's the source of gravity needed to hold clusters together? It was known there wasn't enough mass to do that or visible matter to do that. So the explanation for this missing matter was something called dark matter. Matter that we can't see and really have not been able to detect well, but matter that was needed to produce the gravity to hold the galaxies together. In the Milky Way is observed that the number of stars in the outer fringes decreases. And yet the overall mass out there remains the same. So that means, yep, there's visible matter out there, but there was also this dark matter had to be there to have the right amount of gravity. Also, the outer fringes of spiral galaxies rotate too fast. And again, so the explanation is, hey, there must be dark matter present. Now, up until 1998, it's believed that there was enough visible matter and dark matter present to slow down this rate of expansion of the universe. But in 1998, it was determined that the rate of expansion was not slowing down. It was increasing. So a new explanation had to come along. They maintained the dark energy, but now we add in dark energy. So dark energy, something that the astrophysicists are still trying to detect and astronomers. It says the universe contains energy in empty space, which is called dark energy. And this dark energy is speeding up the expansion of the universe. It's not an anti-gravity force, but in a sense it has that feeling, because instead of pulling things towards the middle, things are being accelerated outwards and the universe is getting bigger. Now let's just finish this section off for now by looking at the composition of the universe. So 73% of the universe is dark energy, 23% is dark matter. So 96% of the universe is stuff we really haven't been able to detect. But it helps explain how the universe's acceleration, or is expanding, is accelerating. 3.6 atoms of normal matter, stuff we're used to, and 0.4% from visible matter stars and galaxies generating light. So only 4% is stuff what they're really familiar with. So this is a start of a little confusing section, but you'll get questions on this, and the questions sort of nail down what you're responsible for. And hopefully the videos will help as well.